Big and outrageous or bold and beautiful? We are following a big debate this week brewing at a local high school. It has everything to do with this student's hair. We know hairstyles, especially for high schoolers, can make a statement. But as our Lenitra Bennett is learning, one teen says she's now in trouble for causing a distraction. This is the day that started it all. 17-year-old Genesis Johnson found herself in trouble because of all things, her hair. She said that my hair needs to be fixed. It was not neat and needs to be put in a style and my hair is fixed. Genesis is in the 11th grade at North Florida Christian and has been wearing her hair in an afro on and off since the 7th grade, donning the fro consistently for the past seven months. She never had a problem until about two weeks ago. That's when she says one of her teachers confronted her in front of the class. Two days later, it was an administrator. She said, your hair is extreme and faddish and out of control. NFC is a private school. Genesis says she was told her hair was against school rules. It hurts me for my, my people behind me, the younger ones. They're going to have hair like me. Well, well, why can't they wear their natural hair? You might say that it didn't fit the handbook, but what she heard is a woman telling her that she's not pretty. Her hair does not fit um, society. Genesis says she was told her big hair was a distraction in class. In every class I sit in the back, so it won't cause a distraction. Now there are more questions for this family as they decide how to move forward while instilling confidence in their daughter. I wanted to counteract and let her know that you are so beautiful. Your hair is also we found a copy of the North Florida Christian School Student Handbook. Page 22, it reads, no faddish or extreme hairstyles, and hair should be neat and clean at all times. The administration will make the decision on any questionable styles. Genesis' mother says they were told the teen could finish this last week of the school year, but if she didn't change her hair, the school would give them a refund for next semester. I spoke to the assistant